Hello everyone, um, this is your girl Sugary Girl Candy 2012 and I'm here to bring you guys um, a new video. Um, the reason I decided to do this one, first I want to say yes it is 7 in the morning, it's 7 in the morning on Saturday. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah I wanted to basically give you guys the story because if you don't know I'm a huge fan of the Devil May Cry series. So when I came across this I just had to do it because I have like many thoughts running through my head right now so I'm gonna go ahead and read it and then um, I'm gonna give you give you guys my thoughts and all that other good goodness so it says Devil May Cry series may not continue if Devil May Cry 4 special edition doesn't sell enough oh boy <laughs> the recent release of DMC Devil May Cry definite edition and the impending release of Devil May Cry 4 special edition have shown that Capcom still have an interest in their successful action action game series now I personally believe when they say you know they still show an interest in the Devil May Cry series when they say that is because um, of how DMC that's D uh, with a lowercase m and a c, uh, uppercase c, um, that when they say stuff like this, it's because the other game failed horribly. And yeah, it did get a decent amount of sales, but yeah, I'm sorry, it just didn't cut it in terms of how the, all the other games did. So yeah, still, it seems like its future is rather rather is <laughs> really uncertain as the company will release new entries of the series only if Devil May Cry for a special edition manages to sell well. I have so many things I'm going to say right now but I'm going to get through this and I'm going to say it afterwards. The worrying fact has been revealed by series producer Deki Asuno in a new interview that's been posted on the Capcom Japan official website. Mr. Asuno revealed that he doesn't know if he will be able to make another number entry of the series so if players does don't want to wait another seven years for another another game or let Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition become the last release of the series they need to support the new release and let Capcom know what they think of it apparently the game will be coming with a special survey that will be used to gather feedback on the game okay that's different if you're a huge fan of the Devil May Cry series you know what to do in around 10 days okay <laughs> Yesterday has been confirmed that Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition will come with a unique option that will allow players to switch between the new balance settings and the ones featured in the original Devil May Cry 4. In order to do so, a special command has to be used, which will also change the game's logo. Some new screenshots have also been made available yesterday, showcasing Virgil, Lady, and Trish, as well as the powerful Super Nero and Super Dante. Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition will release will be released, excuse me, in Japan on June 18th on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One as a physical and digital release. A limited edition is also getting released in Japan, including several extra goodies that fans of the series will surely appreciate. The game will be released on June 23rd on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC as a digital only release. Time out. The game will be released on June 23rd on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC as... Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start from the beginning to the bottom and just... Let me just tell you guys what, what is so wrong with all of this. Okay, first of all, Capcom killed me so freaking much with this with these antics. Because they did it with um, the Street Fighter series. Lord have mercy. It's like they try to play the victim all the freaking time and it's annoying. So basically they're pinning the next Devil May Cry. Well the next Devil May Wait, Yeah. They, they're pinning basically the next if there is a next Devil May Cry game on this game doing well. Here's the thing. If you guys win the trashed you know original fans or just fans in general of the older series and maybe you know you know the newest DMC wouldn't have done so horrible as it did and you know just completely you know dissing fans and then saying purposely how you guys you know change the character just because you wanted controversy if you guys want proof of what I'm saying right now I'll be more than glad to link you guys to the video which I made to have all the links in which you know say you know Capcom wanted the controversy among many other things um, 
they completely dissed Dante, they completely dissed the old fans, and they said to hell with y'all, and then when the game actually, you know, started doing bad, you know, then original fans of the series start, you know, getting blamed for not buying the game, even though, you know, a lot, a lot of them uh, were saying, well, if you don't like it, don't buy it, and that's exactly what people did, and then next thing you know, like, you know, we, we as fans were being blamed for not buying the game, doing as they told us to do. So I'm like, what the fuck? And then on top of which, when um, the newest DMC was being defended, um, many were putting it down to people only getting pissy hurt over the hair color when, you know, people had gotten over that a long time ago, like way over that, you know, after the first trailer dropped. People were over that. Well, maybe there might have been a few people that was still complaining about the fact that he didn't have white hair. But then, you know, it started being, well, you know the whole dissing of the fans and among many other things and just the fact that they just completely destroyed the story and I don't know man it's just a complete freaking mess like oh my gosh I don't know Capcom just they just confused me <laughs> um okay so let me see da -da -da -da. Hmm. okay um releasing a survey for um, the game is something I've never heard of a game company doing. Um, you know, having a farm or um, official farm, well, there probably is. But I believe those will work better than a survey. I mean, because how many people are going to exactly do the survey? They'll just skip right over it. <laughs> a farm is better for, you know, obtaining information or wanting to get feedback on your game, on, you know, what needs changing and what doesn't and what's good and bad, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, um, what's also a problem is the fact that, um, it's, I've read this, <laughs> y'all heard me read it again, this portion at the bottom where it said it's only going to be a digital only release, which I have a problem with because, you know, I don't know, what if something happened to the system or, um, I mean, well, obviously, Sony had the thing, which, well, I don't need, I don't know if it works on a PlayStation 4 or not, but it worked on the PS3 when, um, uh, you know, obviously, you guys, if you don't know, well, obviously, many of you would know, <laughs> um, uh, my old fat PS3 kicked the bucket on me, but, you know, I had digital games downloaded on that, um, like Saints Row 2 and blah, 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 that, you know, Saints Row 2 was actually giving the PS3 owners, at, you know, for free, because, you know, the thing we were promised was Saints Row the Third at Sony's E3, uh, I believe it was 2011 or 2010, we didn't actually get, so, you know, in turn, they made up by giving, you know, PS3 owners Saints Row 2 for free, so me, I took that opportunity because it'll make it a lot easier for me to make videos when I need to, but anyway, so basically, when I lost my fat PS3, um, you know, I had a couple of uh, digital things, you know, DLC and stuff like that, and I was like pissed. <laughs> but I was able to um, re-download and obtain my uh, digital copy back, and get my Saints Row 2 back, and my DLC and all that other stuff. So you know, I was glad that I, <laughs> I didn't have to rebuy or anything like that, cause that's a bitch. So anyway, I mean, I don't know if the PlayStation 4 does that. Maybe it does, but, you know, um, yeah, um, I just don't have a thing with digital. I mean, I don't sell my games very often, especially games that I enjoy. But, you know, what if, you know, just speaking in general, like, what if, you know, I wanted to sell it, like, I wouldn't have that option. Like, this is why I don't, I don't do, I like, you know, physically having a copy of my games. Like, I like holding it, I like touching it. It's just like that feel of, you know, being a gamer, you know, opening up, you know, your brand new game and, you know, going through the books and just touching the disc and stuff like that. So, I don't really do digital too much unless, um, unless it's like an add-on or whatever uh, to a game and digital is the only way you can get it, I guess. But... I don't know, man. I'm just not with the whole digital thing. Um, me personally was going to get this game <laughs> when it came out right then and there, but I don't know because I don't do the whole digital thing. Maybe uh, in a month or so they'll have a physical copy, but then again, I kind of doubt it, so highly doubt it. Put that, you know, <laughs> emphasize on that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Capcom just, they just kill me with this, like, 
I don't know, they keep, they continuously play victim all the freaking time, and I'm like, Capcom, come on, dude, like, this is sick, Cap oh, Lord have mercy, I'm surprised that they're still afloat, I'm just so surprised that they're still afloat, I, and, um, I said, I believe, in one of my Devil May Cry videos, that I didn't want to have anything to do with, you know, Capcom anymore, because, you know, after that whole, fiasco with the you know the newest DMC game it was just like nah it ain't happening and then you know the whole blaming of fans and then you know just all this other bullshit like I said before if you guys want me to link you to the video where I have every last link to all the bullshit then I can do that and I'm not just saying this just to be saying this but um yeah Capcom really screwed the hell up and now they're trying to sit here and continuously play victim and it's honestly annoying and it's honestly a turn off and um I don't know man um I guess I just hope that the game does good I won't be getting it on a release date obviously because it's a digital only thing and I don't like really doing just digital games um so uh damn I mean I may get it down the line digital but I'm just I don't know digital games just make me iffy <laughs> make me feel funny so uh, I guess that's all I have to say on the matter um I'll leave the question of the day at the end of the video so you guys can give me your uh, thoughts on what you think it is. Um, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, um, commenting, liking if you did, subscribing if you did. It's much appreciated. And um, I will definitely speak to you guys later. And, you know, I hope, you know I'll definitely have more videos up on uh, WW2K16, um, E3, because y'all know I'm going to be watching E3. I'm, like, so hyped for that. It doesn't make any type of sense. <laughs> like, I'm just looking forward to so many things, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just hyped. And um, I'm going to be... I may do a live thing. I'm trying to, you know, figure out if I'm going to do it, like, live. Where, you know, you know, I'm actually watching it. And I'm giving my live, you know, feedback and all that stuff on it. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like and comment. Subscribing if you did. And I'll speak to you guys later. And make sure you catch the um, comment of the day. Comment of the day. Oh my god. <laughs> the question of the day. Excuse me. At the end of the video. And let me know y'all thoughts on this situation. On Capcom. On just everything they've been doing thus far. And I'll speak to you guys later. Deuces.